In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the following UML class diagram in Microsoft Visio. So the first thing we want to do is bring up Microsoft Visio. Under Template Categories, click on Software and Database. And then find the UML model diagram. Zoom in on your document, and over here on the left hand side, under UML Static Structure, drag out one class object. We're going to use this class object to represent the Rolling Dice class. Okay, The Rolling Dice class has no instance variables and one method called main that takes a parameter args that is a string array and returns the return type void. So let's double click on our class object. Under name, we'll call this one rolling dice. We don't have any instance variables, but if we did, they would go under attributes. And operations is where we specify our methods. So we had one method, main, at a return type of void. It was public because it's public static void main. And to specify the string array argument for the parameter, we need to make sure that main is highlighted. Click on properties. Come down to parameters on the left hand side. We'll type in args. It's a string array. Unfortunately, uh, Visio doesn't have data types that are arrays, so we'll just pick string, and then to indicate that args is an array, we'll put our brackets on args. Okay, and that's all there is for rolling dice. So now let's do the die class here that has one instance variable, face value, and four methods. So let's drag another class out from under UML Static Structure. Double click to bring up the properties. And this one's the die class. Under attributes, we'll specify our instance variables. We have face value is of type int. And the visibility is private. If you remember in class when we created the die class, um, we specified it as private int face value. So that's why the visibility is private. Okay, so now let's specify our methods under operations. Our first method is roll as a return type of int, and the visibility is public. There's no parameters, so we don't have to go into properties and specify any. Our next one is set face value. It has a return type of void. That is public. And it has one parameter value that is an int. So we have set face value highlighted. Let's click on properties and jump down to parameters. Okay. So we want to specify our value, which is of type int. Okay. Now moving on to the next method is get face value. That has a return type of int. Its visibility is public, and there's no parameters. And our last method is to string as a return type of string that is public and no parameters. Okay, so we have our two classes. The only thing left to do is to show our dependency relationship. So we drag down a little bit under UML static structures and we have our dotted line dependency. So let's drag one of these out 
and hook the starting end on rolling dice and the pointed end will point to die and that's all there is to it